everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares and today we're going to be working on an Easter speed build. As you can see I first started off by doing the cliffs um, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building sort of a dinner area where families can come together and celebrate Easter. It's going to be very pastel coloured um, but really really lovely. Lots of eggs, lots of little tokens to point to the Easter time of year. As you can see here I'm just working on the cliffs a little bit more. It'll be really important as part of the build as there's something that I wanted to put in here um, that will make it really cute. So here we go now I'm just looking for the custom design and as you can see we've got a little standee. This standee is a little rabbit hole which I thought was really really cute and then I just go about placing some trees to kind of hide the standee area and then we're working on some paving because this is where we're going to set up our dinner area. So I went with the light dirt path. I went with that because I thought that the custom designs that I'm going to lay over the top would look best with that kind of setup. I could have used rocks but hey, um, the dirt looked nice and we're kind of going for a garden party kind of feel. So this was quite important. And as you can see here, I'm just looking down, just deciding which custom designs to use. I went with my round lace tile, which is one of my favourites. And then we just proceeded to dot it around everywhere. And then after that, we moved on to some Easter kind of flowers. These have got some nice bright colours and I mixed it in with the normal. They look like daisies kind of, which I use on my island. And we're just randomly placing them down. Not too symmetrical, just to, to dot them around everywhere. And then we also had some other little Easter token custom designs. We've got the Easter eggs as well. Some of them you might have seen, we'll get a snapshot of them later. And here we are with the custom standees. These are really cute. They're little windows with flower boxes outside like the planters. And I wanted to use them as a backdrop. And now we're just putting down some balloons. I first of all thought we would go with the Festivale stuff. Because it's that kind of pastel coloured rainbow. But later on I did change my mind. So they're there for now but it does change later. Here we are just crafting some items. Nope, I changed my mind. <laughs> and I decided what we needed to go behind the custom design standee was a little stool. So I've gone with the yellow colour just to try and with the pastel colours and I went with the yellow gingham check which I've used in some of my other builds. But we just placed that behind rotated it around and kind of put it in the middle between the three of them and then I decided I wanted something to go in the middle window so that you could see something kind of poking through so we went with the heart shaped bouquet from Valentine's and then for the tables we had a few different options I went with the table with cloths in the end purely because we can custom design it and then I wanted to put lots of items on top. I did mix and match, I tried to mess around just to see which one worked best and in the end we did go with two tablecloths, one white and then one with the bunny pattern. And then here we were trying to fit something in front of the panels. I wasn't really sure how which design I preferred, whether I preferred the white or the natural but in the end I decided that I did prefer the white and we went and changed it. Again, that has the really cute bunny pattern on. I will put the code in the description for you guys. And then it was just a matter of finding some items to go on top of these tables. I went with the chocolate um, candy set from the bunny day this year and the basket from last year. And then we just went about placing kind of cakes tea, drink, that sort of thing on the main dining tables. We mixed it up with the mum's handmade cakes. These are some of the designs that I'd never used before on them, which I really did like in the end because I feel like they were quite eastery. One of them had a chick on and I think the other one has some sort of bunny on. I tried to change the table setting, but in the end we just went with the default version. 
And as you can see there, I also did use some Sanrio, the table tray, which is another really super cute item from that collection. And then here we just started working on the chairs. I wanted a mix match of chairs just to kind of make it look a bit more cutesy. Um, I wasn't really feeling the turkey day stuff with this kind of area. I don't know whether it was because the green was too bright, but here we have the pink coloured wooden chair. That one did stay in the end. Um, and we also use a cinnamon cinnamon stool I think that's how you say it if I said it wrong I'm sorry but basically that's the super cute Sanrio stool um from the new collection and we use some wooden stools as well again custom design with that yellow gingham and the iron guarded chair in white we did also decide to use my melody rocking chair in place of the turkey day chair that just didn't work really didn't feel that and again another one of the cinnamon stools here I am just still trying to find the right chairs it really did take a while I wasn't sure what to use uh, what would look right but in the end we went with the director's chair the just moving them here because I realized they weren't quite lining up properly which was a bit annoying because it took quite a while to change them but we did we did figure it out we've just pushed the chairs down and we got there in the end and then here is the director's chair I just thought the colors went nicely but just wasn't happy with the pinks together so we just moved them around a bit there we go so that was the table area done and then we're just moving on putting some accents in so we've got the bunny day balloons which I kind of did fall in love with during this got rid of the festivale one really wasn't feeling it um I think maybe they were just too high and then here we started having a go with the new bunny day trees this I had a lot of problems with throughout I wanted it on the reef but I didn't quite realize or anticipate how big the kind of area for the trees needed to be which was a bit of a pain and we're just putting in some trees as a bit of a filler just so you can see them peeking over those cut out standees there we go another bunny day tree in place and then we just really needed to, to tidy up i had done it a little bit too close so we wanted to figure out what to put here so i've got some custom designs down on the floor just to add a bit of detail and then we went with the garden wagon this is obviously colored into the pastel colors with the white base and the kind of blue yellows and purples which i thought looked really cute the, as you can see here i had to take a slight detour because that tree is so big and i like to pack as much in as i can so that made it a bit difficult here is the super cute bunny day planter absolutely love that and then I thought about getting a, not horizontal, vertical tutar rug, but I decided against it in the end and just went with a more natural look with the flowers on the ground. Okay, and then it was time to add some bunnies in. So we got some flowers. I wanted these to kind of hide them behind we went with the flat custom designs which is super cute and we also have some bunny hats which you'll see in just a moment but just adding in some filler flowers here so here we are here's the first gray one so we got that in place rotated it around so that you could get the best view of it just needed some more flowers just to hide them a bit because we didn't want the the black sticking out underneath so they looked a bit more camouflage and then we also had the white bunny rabbit. Again, just filling it out with some more flowers. As you can see, I was really struggling for space with my flowers. I definitely underestimated how many pink flowers I would need during this build. And near the end, it did kind of, it was a struggle. Um, but we made it work, kind of. Adding in some more foliage. 
I wanted this area to be like the rabbit hole using the cutout standy and then all the little rabbits around which I think did turn out pretty well and I was kind of kind of happy with it again there's another little rabbit the running rabbit which was super cute as well and now it was time to work on the blanket area what I wanted to do for this area was if you ever go to a dinner party or something like that everywhere has like a kids table and instead of like a kids table I wanted to do like a kids picnic area where they can just play eat their eggs eat their food and just relax I did initially start off with this really cute um yellow floral print for the blanket but I quickly changed my mind and I was going to go with the bunny all over but that didn't quite work out as well I thought it was just too much so what I did instead was make a sort of a checker pattern I did try this one but this one worked out a bit better with this white crochet in the middle just to break it up so it wasn't just all one pattern and I thought that it looked really effective I could have chosen a different tassel but um those are the ones that I normally use on my own, so I wanted to keep them in place. So we're just finding some items that will go on the blanket here. I thought that I would use this dinner plate and put the New Year's Eve, um, what were they called, 12 grape dish in, down on them. And then we went for another tree. We were trying to fit it in here, but the space, like I said earlier, it was just a little bit too awkward. So in the end, we had to move it out a bit. And then we go, we managed, still didn't manage to get it on the reef, the reef, so we had to move it down forward yet more. There we go, we got there in the end. And then we wanted to use the topiary, so I don't feel like I used it enough, but it still looked cute. I think the bunny day furniture from this year was a definite improvement. And then the doll's house. And then we're just finding some more items. I wanted to really mix it up. I wanted to use some of the wood items. So the rocking horse, the clacker cart. Really cute. Apologies for that slight interlude. I took a little bit of a break. And I thought you wouldn't want to see that. So here it is in action. Here's the clacker cut. Look how cute it is. The colours are beautiful. And the little ducks sticking out the top are super cute. Are they ducks or chicks? I'm not sure. But either way, they look cute. Here is another Sanrio item. That was the table. Which I really love. And I thought it went perfectly with that. So we just put the cute music player up there. I got some cushions down which are a must for any picnic area still wasn't quite happy with the placement of the doll's house but we kind of made it work and then the rocking horse in it goes in the cute pinky pastel colors again and then the bunny day candy as well all the children need lots of chocolate their parents will definitely regret it later when they're running and trying to climb the ceilings but it's Easter and that's one of the key features. So I just tried to make this bear work but I decided this one was better, the lighter, more floral patterned one. And then still wasn't convinced on the placement of that but we kind of just left it, made it work and just a little dog to go with the picnic. And then this area, in between the rug and the dining area, I just found a bit awkward. So we just put down some more patterns. I didn't want to put a path down, think, didn't think it warranted it. And then we have the lacy parasol as well. And then I've just put down some more custom designs. That chalk duck design was super cute. I really wanted to use it more, but it didn't really warrant it. I tried out some fencing, that didn't really work either. Um, it just didn't quite fit in that area so on to the next thing and we were dropping some eggs I picked the leaf egg and I think it's the earth egg um, as I just wanted to give the idea that there was a bit of an easter egg hunt going on as well so just randomly dropped some down in the area that we had just worked on and then we worked on breaking up the dining area so we used the plant the planter and put that in the middle with some custom designs on underneath and then we used the bunny day flags from this year 
who knew that when you rotate them, it has a different pattern on? So I thought that looked really cute just to section off the area and make it a bit more welcoming. Just adding in some more bunnies because obviously we need lots and lots of bunnies and then just working on a cliff area to section off the area some more just to make it look a little bit more completed. I kind of drew down the way that I wanted to go and then just worked on filling it in. I couldn't fill it all in because my house was there and this area probably isn't going to be a permanent feature on my island as it is very seasonal and doesn't really match with my current island aesthetic. Here we are just filling it in, clearing up the junk that I've left everywhere as we go along. And then it was just really a matter of rounding off the edges. And then I decided to put in a little pond because I wanted to include some ducks because I feel like they're quite fitting with the spring theme. Um, chicks, ducks, rabbits, you know, all those cute animals that kind of, yeah, I don't know what the word is, but they're around during spring, aren't they? Um, so that was my thinking behind creating a little pond. Tried to make it look as natural as possible, but we didn't want it too big and I wanted it to kind of frame the area where it comes round. So made it kind of round off as well. There we go. And then it was just a really matter of getting some trees, some flowers to fill out the area. Um, as I said before, we did struggle with the pinks, so you'll notice in a minute that we just kind of had to make do. But the trees were for the cliffs and for the area to the left of the dining area. Again, I had a bit of a problem getting it around. That's just me in general, just causing problems. So just a normal tree. It is a fruit tree, but for this, I just wanted it plain. We tried to fit in some more bunny day trees. But again, I just, the area was just too big for me. So we went for this one over here with a normal hardwood tree behind. Watch me struggle trying to get by it. <laughs> so now it was time to clean up apparently. Um, I thought we were gonna get some more trees, um, but I just wasn't quite happy with that placement. So we moved it around and I think we were trying to get another bunny day tree in there, but I think we soon realized that it wasn't gonna work. So as I say before, you just got to find what works, what doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, just try something new. And I definitely did want a bunny day tree up there, but I didn't quite have the, I didn't have one in my inventory, so I quickly had to run home and get it. I did order a lot. Yes, I did. <laughs> Excuse my bunny day furniture collection for this year. I just think the items are a hell of a lot better than what they were last year. So we're really ha happy with that. I think Nintendo must have realised that they made a mistake, but hey. As it is April Fool's Day today, I wonder if you all saw the um, Twitter um, Twitter announcement from Nintendo and they literally said that they were going to run it on for four weeks. If you're a fan of Bunny Day, then that would be great for you. If you're not a fan of the event, then I can't think of anything worse. So here we are, we're just decorating the cliffs. Again, my usual stuff, just putting down some flowers, some custom designs on the floor. I didn't fill it all in because, as I said, it's not going to be a permanent feature on my island. I just really wanted to do something super cute for Easter and just show you guys how cute the new furniture is and how you could do something really, really nice for your island for Easter. We are just filling flowers in, some bushes. We went with the white azalea bush, which is a really nice one. I like the green leaves on it and it looks a bit more of a, a natural green, not so bright as some of the other ones. Again, just more flowers. Just I feel like they just really finish off an area. But I definitely needed more pinks. Pinks, yellows whites these were the key to this build I think 
Those are some really cute custom design there. You can just see the three chicks. Fortunately, I didn't use that as much as I wanted to. I think I was just so preoccupied with all the bunny rabbits that were just everywhere. And that was really what I was playing with. I think it dawned on me here finally that the flowers were causing the issue with the tree. So we eventually got it in place. But just a key to remember with the trees, if you want stuff on the ground, like details and stuff, just remember to put the custom designs down first before you try and place the tree. It's, it just makes things a bit easier. As you can see, I was dropping some eggs as well, just continuing on with that idea that he's a bit of an, an egg hunt as well. And watch me struggle getting this tree in place i said right at the beginning that this is what would happen and it definitely did throughout the build just to put some balloons down and the topiary as well put the topiary on the lace rug and then we were getting near the end so we just had a few more bits to do we had this right cliff to decorate flowers get the reef in place before we put the bunny day tree down get some other custom designs down and then pop it on top there we go and then just some more random trees as you do some bushes some more custom designs I decided to put these two cute little rabbits up there as well I really like that one it reminds me of um, Peter Rabbit Again, just needed another top up on flowers. If you're keeping a, a tally, please let me know how many times I went and got flowers. Um, but it was a lot. It felt, felt like I was forever getting flowers. I realised that we'd run out of the pink by this point. So I was like, okay, purple will do. It's not quite the same, but I thought that it kind of goes with the colours that were in the planter as well as the other furniture. So we had to make that work. I'm just kind of tidying up what's going on out front here. I just wanted to kind of bring it all together. And then just finish off that cliff as well. So there we go. And then the final thing to do, one of the final things to do was craft some ducks literally my favorite thing to make with softwood probably the only thing that i make with softwood and then of course we had to customize them to the white i guess it's like a geese a goose a goose even <laughs> geese is the plural but yeah um so we went with the white and the orange and just placed them down on their puddles Looking cute, chilling out. And I put a birdhouse in as well. I thought that was fitting because, you know, nesting birds this time of year, lots of chicks and things. Again, just dropping some more eggs just to fill up the area out the front of the dining section. And then I did just want to fence it off a little bit. So I did find a way to use this fence design that I had earlier. As you can see, I have made a right mess of my island. This is how I tend to build. <laughs> it just becomes a mess everywhere. Because your inventory gets full and then everything's just a struggle. Um, and then I did just decide to put a little bit of path, path down. Just a circle of dirt. Just to kind of show that that's the entrance into the area. I also did try that Easter egg crate. I didn't really like the theme, the colours on it. But whoever created it was really, really talented. I think it is a really special one. I did try and find some more Easter custom designs. And then that was it. So guys, welcome to the finished product. I'm just going to run through it with you now. Um, so this is the entrance. As you can see out front isn't totally complete. Um, but we come in, we've got our path on the ground a whole bunch of custom designs all themed to Easter 
And then over to the right here we have the kids picnic area with all the toys, the chocolate, some food for them. And then we've got some bunny day items as well. We've got the bunny day planter, the topiary, the tree and the candy of course. And then back here I just want to show you this really cute area. It's the kind of rabbit's hole I'm going to call it. Um, so we've got the rabbit designs on the hats. We've got a grey and a white one. And then back there we have the standee which blends in perfectly with the cliff but it's like a rabbit hole which is super cute. I've just hidden the top by the placing of the trees which was a really nice touch so you don't see that hole which would just be a bit of a pain and then we've got lots of eggs dotted around lots of rabbits a butterfly here's maple to enjoy it as well and then over here we have the dining area where we've got two tables with cloths with a whole bunch of goodies on we've got cakes we've got eggs we've got coffee drinks that sort of thing I just thought it would be a really cute area and then back here you can see we've used the cutout standees and those are some super cute designs with the window planters, the shutters, really like them and then we've got the two wooden tables customised with some more Easter goodies on, some of the bunny day balloons um, just to frame the area and then lots of trees lots of bunny day items, the planters, the trees again just to add to the area there's a garden wagon back there as well and then down here on the left is our little pond with the ducks again more rabbits and then this area just to kind of section off the dining area with the bunny day flags and this planter again all on lace custom designs which I thought was really cute. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the build. If you celebrate Easter I hope you have a lovely weekend with whoever you can spend it with. I was going to say friends and family but obviously we might not all be able to do that. So whatever your day has in store I hope it's a good one for you and you enjoy some chocolate eggs. Until next time guys. Goodbye.